Welcome back to Ayastack. In this video, you will learn how to deploy your Angular app on Heroku. So let's begin. I am going to create a new Angular project here. For that, I would use Angular CLI engine new Heroku Angular and wait for some time. Okay, Angular project has been installed. Now I will go into that folder CD Heroku dash Angular. Open it in the VS Code. All right. So next. Next, we need to create a GitHub repository as well. And now I'm going to link this GitHub repository with this Angular project, git add, git remote add origin and git push origin master okay now that course code has been pushed on the github repo next we need to uh, create a heroku project so open the heroku dashboard and here create a new app provide the name of your app and now here we need to connect the github uh, with this uh, heroku app to enable the automated deployments that's mean whenever you create a commit and push it to the github it would automatically de detect that commit and it will it will deploy your changes to the heroku app automatically it it will build the application first and then it will deploy to the heroku app so to connect your github repository click on the github and if you have already authorized your github account you would see the username of your github here in this drop down and here you need to type the name of the uh, repository that you want to link with it for that type angular search it and you will find the repository and here enable the automated deployments so this is the button that would make it possible so before we proceed further we need to uh, create some files uh, and some changes in the Angular project. In the Angular project, we need to create a Node.js server. So one th last thing that I wanted to do, wanted to do is that click on the setting and uh, add build pack and click on the Node.js because this is going to be Node.js project uh, because I'm going to create a Node.js server that would host this angular app for that create a new file server.js and now before uh, begin we need to install the express.js npm install express save so this would save uh, install the express server and save in our uh, package dependency next <clears throat> import the express in a variable and i'm going to create the express app and now app dot use And in this express dot static and in the 
Here we need to provide the path for the static files. You know that whenever we build the Angular application, the build files uh, are added in the dist folder into the root directory of your Angular version. So here I'm going to provide that path for that slash dist and angular project is built into the folder with the same name as the name of the app so uh, app name is heroku angular so i'm going to copy the name so this would be the folder that would be created when you uh, build this application now we need to create an endpoint app dot you get slash all So this means whenever uh, a request comes on this server with the get method, it, it would be for all, all of the endpoints. So it would handle those requests in this function. So in the response, we are going to send a file. And that file would be the index.html file that would be generated when you build the project. Okay, next we need to start the server. To start the express server, we normally type app.listen and in the listen, we need to provide the port. So here, uh, Heroku host the application on a specific port to make it public. So uh, it uh, provides that port in the environment variable in the node here. So to access that environment variable, we would type process.env. Port. So if port is provided, then use this port, otherwise use this one. All right, now uh, our Node.js server is ready. Next, I need to add some scripts in the uh, package.json file. For example, here I need to add a script Heroku post post build so that's mean whenever heroku is ready uh, then it would run uh, this command that you are going to provide here in this uh, uh, script i would provide the command ng build production this would would build the application for the production and after application is built we would uh, 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 heroku would run this server and for that, I'm going to replace the start script with this command node server.js. So I think that's it we need to do. Before we upload it on the Heroku, we need to test it to make sure if it is working correctly in the local server. For that, I'm going to build it, build it in my local machine. For that, run ng build. Uh, so. Okay, the application has been built in the dist folder and in the Heroku Angular folder and there is the index.html file so now i want to test it for that i would run npm start that would execute this script so let's see okay the server is live now uh, in the local machine so let's open that port the port is localhost 8080 okay you can see that angular application is working correctly on this port with this node.js server so that's mean it uh, should work fine when you deploy to the Heroku. So I'm going to commit these changes. And after committing, I would push it to the GitHub. So as soon as you push it on the GitHub, uh, Heroku would detect that commit automatically and it would start doing the deployment. 
you know that we already have linked the repository. So if you go to the overview section, you would notice this latest activity. You would see that build is in progress. So if you want to see in further details, then click on the view build progress. Here you can monitor the progress by Heroku. So give it uh, uh, some seconds or a minute maybe. It's almost done. Okay, build is succeeded. Now it is going to give us a URL that we can open browser. That URL would be publicly available. So this is the URL, this is a unique URL that Heroku has provided us in free. So just open that URL in your browser and see if that is working. All right, you can see that our new application is live in the Heroku server. Now we want to test that if you make any change, if that change is updated in the Heroku URL or not. For that, I'm going to make some minor changes in the app.component. Here, for example, instead of resources, I want to say, hello, I asked that. Now let's commit it and see if these changes are deployed on the production or not. So for that, custom change detection and production. Okay, I have pushed this change uh, and now you would notice that Heroku has started to build. You have to wait for the same amount of time again and after then you can refresh the page to see the changes. You can see that it is uh, doing its job. It is building the application by using the ng build command that you have provided in the package.json file. So this is the command. And you can see build is succeeded. Now, if you try to reload it, you would see the change that we just made in the VS Code. Okay, you can see that it is now fully automated. Whenever you would make any commit and deploy it on the GitHub, it would be deployed on the live server automatically. You don't have to do anything else. So I think this would be very helpful for you. If you have any questions, then please feel free to ask them in the comment section. And Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. And also please like and share my video. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.